Going green takes on a whole new meaning in spring when gardeners spruce up their yards for the season. So are you looking for a fresh new idea? You should head out to this weekend's Flower Power event down in the city market. That's where we find Beth Vaughn. Hey, Beth. Good morning, Naja. We're bringing you flower power this morning, and it's not a kickback to the 60s. We're actually talking about beautiful flowers. The River Market is just full of flowers this morning. It's part of their summer series, and I want to bring in David Bird because he is a orchid specialist. And let me tell you, we've heard several people come by and say, "Orchids, I'm scared of orchids. They seem so delicate." But uh, for a first timer, what do you suggest? Really, just buy a plant that's in bloom, that's healthy, has lots of flowers and lots of buds. And, and this one right here is specifically what type of orchid? This is called the Phalaenopsis or the moth orchid. Mm. That's easier for you to remember. Yes. But uh, this would be the easiest one for people to start with. And why is that? Well, first of all, this plant would bloom for four months. So you get a lot of bloom for a long time in your house. Mm -hmm. And basically, the care is real easy. Just water and feed it once a week. Excellent. Um, Naja, I have uh, been very vocal about my uh, plant expertise in my own apartment, which is not great. Um, but there is a trick to these that most people don't think about and actually seems kind of backwards. Right. What this plant needs to make it rebloom in the fall, uh -huh. we need to chill it. 55 at night for three to four weeks. So you leave your window open or put it outside, and that's what will make the plant form a spike. And then it'll take four months for it to develop. And then if you do everything right, you have flowers at Valentine's Day. Which every girl wants, right? That's, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot different than Mother's Day. Because <laughs> price is no object at Mother's Day or at Valentine's Day. But at Mo Mother's Day, it's like, what can I get real cheap? <laughs> <laughs> well, David, thank you so much. And Naja, hopefully this has been inspiring to those folks at home who've, who've thought th these intricate flowers, you know, have a place in their home, but were a little bit afraid to try it out. So for now, I want to send it back to you, but Flower Power continues all morning. I tell you what, Beth, after these stories, you're going to be a, an expert on the topic. Those flowers <laughs> yeah, were stunning. I think so. Thanks so much.